Welcome to the .NET Way. This is episode 6 of our .NET Core interview series. Today, we're diving into the middleware pipeline in ASP.NET Core, one of the most powerful and flexible components of the framework. We'll not only understand what middleware is, but also challenge Arohi to design a custom logging middleware. Let's get into it. Arohi, let's begin with the basics. What is middleware? In ASP.NET Core, middleware is a class that sits in the HTTP request pipeline and it handles requests and responses as they flow through the application. Each middleware component can perform tasks like logging, authentication, error handling, or even redirecting an old URL to a new one. After doing its work, it can either stop the request there or pass it on to the next middleware by calling await next. Middleware components run in the exact order they're added in the pipeline and they play a key role in how ASP.NET Core applications process requests. So overall, middleware is a flexible and powerful way to control how your application handles incoming and outgoing HTTP traffic. Can you explain how the request flows through the middleware pipeline? Middleware is executed in the exact order it's registered, either in the configure method of startup.cs or in program.cs depending on the project setup. Each middleware component can do three things. First, it can run some logic before calling the next middleware. Then, it calls the next middleware in the pipeline. And finally, it can run additional logic after the next middleware has finished. You can think of it like an onion. Each middleware wraps around the others in layers. The request travels from the outermost layer to the innermost one, and the response comes back through the same layers in reverse. This pattern gives us a lot of flexibility to handle cross-cutting concerns like logging, authentication, error handling, and more. What built-in middleware do developers commonly use? There are several built-in middleware components that developers use regularly in ASP.NET Core. For example, use routing is used to enable routing in the application. Use authentication and use authorization are used for managing security and user access. Use static files is used to serve static content like CSS, JavaScript, or images. Use exceptional helps in handling exceptions globally and showing friendly error pages. And use cores is used to enable or configure cross-origin resource sharing policies. These built-in middleware components are commonly used in almost every real-world ASP.NET Core application. When would you create your own middleware? One common use case is request response logging capturing incoming requests and outgoing responses. Another example is tenant resolution, custom rate limiting, or injecting headers for specific APIs. Let's challenge you now. How would you write a logging middleware? A custom middleware is usually a class with a constructor and an invoke or invoke async method. Here's a basic example. This class is called request logging middleware. In the constructor, we inject two things, a request delegate, which represents the next step in the request pipeline, and a logger, which helps us log messages. The main logic is inside the invoke async method. First, it logs the incoming request path. Then it calls the next middleware in the pipeline using await next context. And after the response is generated, it logs the status code of the outgoing response. This is useful for basic request logging and helps in monitoring or debugging. Finally, we register this middleware in the pipeline using app.useMiddleware, and that's how we create and use a custom middleware in ASP.NET Core. How do you inject services into middleware? You can inject services like logger, eye configuration, or custom services using constructor injection just like any other class. ASP.NET Core automatically provides them via the built-in DI container. Can you explain terminal versus non-terminal middleware? A terminal middleware doesn't call await next, it ends the pipeline. For example, app.use endpoints is usually terminal. Non-terminal middleware calls the next delegate to pass control down the pipeline. What happens if middleware is placed in the wrong order? It can break app functionality. For example, use routing must come before use authorization. Always refer to the official order guidelines or test thoroughly to avoid breaking security or functionality. Can custom middleware be reused in other apps? 
Yes, you can package your middleware into a NuGet package or class library and add an extension method like public static class request logging extensions. Websites public static I application builder use request logging. This I application builder builder. Then return builder use middleware. This makes it easy to plug in with a single line of code. Any pitfalls to avoid? Yes, the most common mistake is not calling await underscore next container, which breaks the pipeline. Also, catching all exceptions silently or logging sensitive data can be risky. Always sanitize and follow secure logging practices. Awesome work, Arohi. That was a complete walkthrough of middleware in .NET Core with a real implementation example. If you found this episode helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the .NET way. In episode 7, we'll explore configuration, app settings.json, and how to secure secrets in .NET Core projects. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.